so that's the slit lamp first you have to on it then low normal and high intensity light we have on the high intensity so that the joystick but before going to the joystick first go to the magnification 10x and 16x magnification so first 10x then comes the eye pieces so these are the eye pieces you can see so it should be like here you can see it's on zero now here it's on six so that's why you will first you have to make those according to either according to your refractor error or on both zero zero so we are making this zero now now both are on the zero because i'm metro so now straight ahead you can see that's the illumination column so first diffuse illumination so that's how we are showing you the view it should be same when you open or close one eye and both eyes so first the view in the right eye the straight full circle you can see the pupil dilated pupil and you can see the posterior subcular cataract now in the other eyepiece so both have got okay then the next one is uh, the next is then you have to make the slit so just uh, narrow this beam narrow this beam and it will become yes so straight ahead that the straight ahead but best is that you should if you are examining the left eye make it uh, on the right here for every eye like for left eye here and for the right eye here on that side so now just we are looking so that's the oblique illumination you can see and now clear cut you can see you can see the anterior chamber uh, the corneal slit the anterior most on the right side is corneal slit and then on the anterior surface of the lens and the distance between the posterior surface posterior cornea and anterior lens is the depth of anterior chamber and the last is the posterior capsular that white one that is so that's oblique in this way now you can clearly see the opacity on the posterior capsule clearly so that's how you examine the cornea for cornea you can magnify it here now Now it's a magnified view and we can check the and that's a corneal slit so now we are checking the cornea so that's a corneal cornea is almost normal on oblique illumination make the now here it should be full 9 is the maximum the length of the that's the button for the length and that's the button for the width so that's how you see pathologies in the anterior chamber I have already discussed 
the ways of uh, retro elimination for retro it should be straight ahead and on the edge of the pupil that's the retro on the edge of the pupil for trans illumination you should uh, keep it low 3 so that all the light should go into the pupil now all light is going into the pupil it will also do retroillumination as well as if there are some uh, defects in the iris